So every time a customer has ants, they ask me to go outside and figure out where they're coming in. I go outside and I usually find this, just a big old ant trail, lots of little ants. And the customer always asks me, they're like, hey, Dan the bug man, where are the ants getting in? And I tell them, I don't really know. It's hard to say exactly where they're getting in. And then the customer is like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You gotta figure out where they're getting in so we can plug the hole so they don't get in anymore. I just want to show them how small the cracks are that ants can get in. You see that little bitty hole? It's barely bigger than the ants. Oh, look at that ant grabbing that big old stick. <laughs> I wonder where he's gonna take it. Trying to plug up every hole that is possible for ants to get into, it's literally impossible. So don't ask me to plug up every hole that the ants are getting into. They're just gonna find another tiny hole to get into and there's nothing I can do about it. There is no house that is completely ant proof. Okay guys, whenever I get a call about ants, it's usually just a couple ants are coming inside foraging for food around the kitchen areas. But I always tell them, you know, the colony is living outside. When I say a colony of ants, that consists of a queen, eggs, worker ants, and all that schnaz. So there's many different ants in a colony. And under this block right here is going to be a big colony of ants. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. All right, see on them? Those are ants. And I'm guessing there's gonna be more under there. See all them ants? There's probably a million of them. When I say an ant colony, well, that would be an ant colony there. All those little white things, those are a lot of their eggs, and they're just running around trying to figure out what to do. So when you spray for ants, that's why it's so hard to get rid of ants, because there are- I don't know how many ants. I will never attempt to count them. At least a million, probably two million. That is currently empty. The customer called us and said they're having troubles with spiders and roaches. So we're gonna spray for spiders and roaches today. First, I'm gonna do a general spray and inspection and see what's going on. I'll go ahead and put you on my head here and I'm gonna use my BNG. This is our general insecticide mixed with water and chemical and I'm spraying the baseboards and under things, you know, just anything that needs a spraying in my opinion. But next, if you have watched any of my other videos, you know that inspecting the kitchen is the most important part of a cockroach inspection or treatment. Look around all of these cabinets. All I'm gonna do is just start pulling stuff away from the wall. It's quite dirty, but I do not see any cockroaches running. Look under the sink a little bit. This is where you have to get a little dirty. There's another cellar spider. Uh-oh, actually, you guys see that? See those roaches up there? They're trying to hide. See them up there? Maybe three or four in that crack. We're going to exterminate the spiders and the roaches. How I do that is I just take a can of stuff. All right, there's our first victim. German cockroach fell to its death like they normally do. Oh, there's another one. Those are both German cockroaches. Just sprayed them. They were trying to hide and they always do a good job of hiding, but I found them as I always do. So, okay, I just found a couple more hiding. You guys know why we spray the baseboards? Well, they're hiding in there. They're little cockroaches. Let's see if I can get them to come out. So just gonna go ahead and spray this in here. See if they start running. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two little baby ones. Oh, three, four. I'm sure there's a couple more in there, but hope oh, number five is coming out. Another little baby one. These baseboards are not sealed. You can stick a whole wand down in there and this straggler here. Run away. There's a little cockroachy there. Get him, get him, get him. Bye, buddy. Oh, he's going to hide. He's already been sprayed. A little too late for that. If you look in these drawers, those are mice poopies. So they must have had some mice issues here in the past. That's all mice poop there. The only spider I've seen so far is this cellar spider hanging out right there. It's super long legs, spindly. Some people claim that they bite. Most spiders do bite. They don't bite humans. I mean, their mouths are probably not even big enough to get over your skin. I love setting up blue boards. They help catch any spiders, cockroaches, centipedes, anything running around and they really help us monitor the rooms or areas that have the worst infestations. So that's about it for this house. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the outside and then- we'll Guys, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sitting here in my truck and I'm actually sweating and I'm actually super pumped because I hate the cold and I would rather just sweat all day than be freezing all day. It just feels good, you know, summer's here and I'm happy. Does anybody know what those guys are? They're just a gang of them just 
chilling on this windowsill. Little red, little black, looks like insects. They got six legs, antenna. I've never seen anything like that. Okay guys, in most of my other videos, when I say cockroaches, I'm usually referring to German cockroaches. Those are the ones that infest kitchens, but there are also other kinds of cockroaches. These, stuck on this glue board, see how dark and fat they are compared to German cockroaches? Those are called oriental cockroaches. Don't get me started on who got to choose the name of these cockroach species. It is what it is, but these don't really infest kitchens. They live outside for the most part. They just accidentally scurry around and they like moisture in dark places. So if you see one of those big fat cockroaches laying around, that's nothing really to worry about. That just means it accidentally stumbled inside. That may mean you have some moisture issues or may need to do an outside perimeter spray around the house or structure where you saw. Uh, interesting, but I just found this dead carpenter bee. They're pretty big bees, as you can see. So these little glue boards that we put out, they have our logo on there, but sometimes we find other companies in here. So we just set those aside and we put that one there and then we take this one away and then we put my company's glue boards and then we take these and we just smush them. And then I put them in my pocket and I throw them away. And I just found another glue board from a different company down here in the corner. Customer must be sleeping around with a bunch of other pest control companies, so it kind of makes me uncomfortable being here knowing who else has been here, you know? Sometimes I get to spray in cool places like this Islamic center with all these writings on the wall that I don't really know what they mean or even what language. Hey guys, I am at a customer's house. Right here is the house behind me, as you guys can see. This is an old stump, and this stump was cut down a few years ago, but inside of it is actually hundreds and hundreds of termites. See those white guys right there? Those are termites. And I'm currently having to treat this customer's house and he's paying good money for us to come and treat it because he left this big old stump next to his house that is just an all you can eat buffet for the termites. If you don't want to get termites in your house, then don't leave a bunch of food for them right next to it. They will happily feed on it and then they will continue eating right next to your house.